welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be making a DIY Valentine's floating mailbox. So everything in here came from Dollar Tree. So guys, please keep on watching if you want to learn how to make a floating mailbox. So let's proceed to the materials that we need. So first, we need a slim vase. This will serve as a post of the floating mailbox. And then we need a heart shape bowl. This is going to be the base. And then a small mailbox. See? And then we also need some flowers. A monkey. Stuffed toy. A glue gun. And if you need a glue, you can also use a super glue. A glue dots for the candies. Scissors. We also need a zip lock. We're going to be using it for floating candies. I will be attaching the candies to the zip lock. Next, we also need some glue sticks. And of course, a bunch of candies. So, let's get started guys! So, we will start by attaching the vase to the glass heart with the use of glue gun and a glue stick. We have to make sure that you secure it properly so it will be strong enough to hold the mailbox and the candies. For our next project, we're going to be making a Valentine's wreath. As you can see, everything in here came from Dollar Tree. But anyways, in this project, we need a bamboo wreath. You can also use a wire wreath frame, but I will recommend bamboo wreath for this project. And also, we need a word decal, a Valentine's word decal. 
this one is made of metal and it's good quality for a dollar we also need some flowers i pick roses for this project some pigs some heart and then we also need some wire cutter and then glue gun and then glue sticks i also have some i grab some zip tie to hang this and that's about it so let's get started Project, we're going to be using some rustic wood hearts and also twine or a string. To start with, I'm going to be cutting the string and then insert it to the tiny hole of the heart and make some knots. Just do it several times to make sure it's really secure. So there you go. And then after this, you will just do the same thing to the other end of the string. Alright. 
Okay. Let's do the second one. There you go. And then you just have to repeat the process with the rest of the heart. We'll